Hello and welcome to Pharmacy House Australia. In this video, we will be discussing the Pharmacy Written Exam for Intern Pharmacists in Australia. First what is the Pharmacy Written Exam? The Pharmacy Written Examination is a registration requirement developed by the Pharmacy Council of Australia. It is one of two exams interns must pass during their intern year, the other being the oral exam. The exam is held three times a year usually in February, June, and October. The total duration of the exam is two hours. It consists of 75 multiple choice questions and is open book. To be eligible to sit the exam you must be provisionally registered with the Pharmacy Board of Australia and have completed at least 75% of the required supervised practice hours by the exam date. You can choose to sit the exam either in a test centre, or as an online proctored exam in your home. Both exams are monitored actively and any suspected instances of cheating may result in immediate disqualification from the exam. In such cases, a refund may not be granted. The intern written exam tests your skills, experience, knowledge and understanding as a pharmacy intern. You are required to pass the exam to show that you have the competence to practice safely and effectively in the Australian healthcare setting. The Pharmacy Council has identified six question content categories. In each content category, candidate competency is assessed in multiple areas. Here is a breakdown of each category. The six content categories are calculations, first aid competency, dosage forms, counseling, law and ethics, and therapeutic areas and disease state management. These content categories serve as the foundational pillars upon which your examination will be based and can be found on the Pharmacy Board website. It's essential to understand the nature of these categories to excel in your assessment. This exam is open book meaning candidates can bring any printed or handwritten reference materials. Please note that digital material is strictly prohibited. I strongly encourage you to have the latest versions of the APF and AMH ready to go. You can also bring in as much printed material as you'd like however, it's important not to overwhelm yourself with resources because time is limited and a common reason for failure is running out of time and not completing the exam. Ultimately it is up to you to decide what material you'd like to bring in on the day. Now one of the most common questions we get from our interns is what's the pass mark for the written exam? It is important to note that there is no specific pass mark documented on the Australian Pharmacy Council website. The pass standard is measured on competency and considers the performance of candidates in previous sittings, ensuring fairness and equity as well as maintaining a constant level of difficulty over time. So to your absolute best and if your performance aligns with the expected knowledge level for an intern, you should successfully pass. Here are our tips to help you feel more confident. First and foremost, know your resources. Make sure you're familiar with your textbooks and notes. Flag the important sections and add post-it notes if needed. Secondly, time management is key. Allocate your time wisely during the exam, and work through the questions efficiently. You can always flag a question and come back later if needed. Also be sure to read the question carefully and pay close attention to words such as least appropriate, most appropriate, correct, or incorrect. They dictate the context of your answer. Here's a golden rule, answer every single question. If you are unsure take an educated guess. Last but not least, practice, as much as possible. The more you practice, the more confident you become. Take practice exams, work on sample questions, and build your skills. There are some additional resources in the description below for your use. Results for the exam are generally emailed to candidates two weeks after they sit the exam. Ultimately the pharmacy written exam is a challenging but essential component of the Australian Pharmacy Intern Training Program. It assesses an intern's competence in a range of areas and ensures that they are equipped with the knowledge and skills necessary to provide safe and effective patient care. We hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of what the exam entails and gave you some tips. If you have already taken the exam, feel free to share your tips and insights in the comments section below. Thank you for watching Pharmacy House Australia, and we'll see you in the next video.